This video was made on Sunday the 25th of February 2024 and it's another big day in the life of Sydney public transport because after nine years after the first plans were shared and seven years of construction the Victoria Cross Metro Station in North Sydney of Sydney Australia was open to the public today for a sneak peek of when it opens later in 2024. And for most of those years I've walked by and watched the station built so I've taken a lot of shots over the time. So I couldn't help but get a couple of tickets to go and have a look at the station today. I make YouTube videos on a channel called Backtracks. And because this is not a normal Backtracks video, I haven't put it on my main channel. And instead I've created a little channel called Sidetracks, which is for videos that are a bit more spontaneous and random uh, and probably a little bit less vigorously researched. So less time to make. Yeah. I hope you enjoy regardless. So let's have a look at the Victoria Cross Railway Station. I'm Marty and welcome to Backtracks Gets Sidetracked. Victoria Cross is a yet to open rapid transit station to be located beneath the central business district of North Sydney in Australia and it forms part of Transport for New South Wales new Sydney Metro City and South West lines and it's scheduled to open in 2024. When we arrived, we entered at the Miller Street North entry or the top entrance of the station. And this entry is pretty interesting because it's the only railway station entrance in Australia that only has lift access. Viewers in the UK would say, hey, that's pretty common for us, but it's pretty new for us. So after signing in, we went through the Opal Gates and this is where you went into the lift. And then you enter a tunnel, which is very much like the tunnels you would find in London, like on the Elizabeth Line. In fact, it feels very similar. And then you come out to an area that has a commanding view of the railway station platforms. When we walked around the corner, we went, wow. And that was the same reaction to most people as they walked in um, from this entrance. When you look into this, it's huge. And nothing like the underground stations we're used to here in Sydney. But a couple of comments from people as we walked around was that there's plenty of space. Uh, very open and airy, even though we're way underground. But a few comments about there weren't actually that many seats and there didn't seem to be a lot of um, notice boards for train arrivals like you might see on the Elizabeth line. And we counted, uh, as you'd notice, the platform doors to the side of this and we counted seven lots of three doors. So it looks like there's 21 doors on each platform, but we may have got that wrong. From there, we headed south along the platform and then we went up to what I'd sort of say was a mezzanine level as we're heading south to what is officially the main entrance of the station. But that's not open yet today. While we could go right up to the entry doors, the connection to the street is not complete. And looking back along the station north to the concourse for the mezzanine level and then continuing to head south, we then enter a large bank of escalators, five in total, that take you up to the main uh, entry concourse, Denison Lane and what they're calling Miller Street South. Again, like the rest of the station, this main ticket barrier entry hall just below Miller Street and Denison Street is pretty impressive, very airy, very big. And there was a great display of some of the tenants in the food court that will be open when the station opens itself. And then the number of restaurants and office spaces that will only be open once the building above the station has been completed. And after walking from the north of the station to the south of the station, we arrive at the official main entrance of it. And that is the entry at Miller Street South. It's not open yet because the building above is still in major construction works. But you can see that the interior is basically complete and a beautiful artwork above the escalators as we come down. One can't but help think they may be advertising billboards in the near future. And to finish the video, I'll share a little bit more about the story of the line while we watch a sped up view of us walking back from the southern end of the station to the north. The Sydney Metro City and Southwest will be a 30 kilometre rapid transit line which is currently under construction. The project will extend the already running Metro North West Line from Chatswood on the North Shore to Bankstown, which is in the city's southwest via the centre of the city. 
And the project consists of two main components. The first is a 16 kilometre twin tunnel going under Sydney Harbour through the city to Sydney, and that will have seven new underground stations. And the second is conversion of an existing heavy rail line with 11 stations, which is called the Bankstown line. So when complete, the new track will form part of what will be 66 kilometres of driverless trains in the Sydney Metro network. As I mentioned at the start, the project began construction in 2017 and the tunnel between Chatswood and Sydney is planned to open mid-2024, while conversion of the Bankstown line is planned to open in 2025. So I wanted one last clear shot of the station before I left and it was full of people, but then I realised it was a whole lot of other transport vloggers. So no worries, because you are the people actually that inspired me to make my videos today. Thank you. So there you have it, a whistle stop tour, pretty quickly made on the day that I filmed it. I hope you enjoyed a sneak peek at the new Victoria Cross Metro Railway line. And maybe we'll make some more backtracks get sidetracked in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. If you do like this sort of content, of course, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time, either on this channel or back on my main channel, Backtracks. See you later.